Hi, it's Mr. Mason and I'm back. This time I'd like to do a quick video that shows you how to draw some models when attempting to divide um, fractions and whole numbers. The first model is actually the area model. There's all different kinds of pictures you can draw and things like this. This is just one method to use. Um, so method one's the area model and we use this when dividing by a whole number. So if you look at this, I have two-thirds divided by four. So if you break this down, what I'm actually doing is I, I, I'm going to draw two-thirds. So it, what you really should do, any, any child should actually do, is probably solve this first. And just, you could use a reciprocal. So I could do two-thirds times the reciprocal of four would be one over four, because this would be four over one. And when I solve this, I'd get 2 twelfths, which is equal to um, 1 sixth, because if I divide both of those by 2. So my answer is 1 sixth. So when I go to draw this, I need to draw 2 thirds. So the best shape to draw area models would be to use a rectangle. So I'm going to slide over here a little bit, and I'll draw my rectangle. And after I draw it, I want to break my rectangle into thirds. So I'm going to have thirds that I break this into. It's important to label. So I have zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and three thirds. And this says that I have two thirds. So I'm going to shade in two thirds. Grab my colored pencil here for a second. So give it a light shade. There's my one third, and I have two thirds. And what I need to do is I'm dividing two thirds into four pieces. So if I break this into fourths, I don't draw it in half, and take half of that and half of that. So I have fourths. And I should label this because I do have fourths. So I'll start down here at the corner. So I have zero fourths. Gets a little confusing here with the thirds and the fourths. But I'm going up with my fourths. Zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Now the thing is, I have two thirds. I'm dividing it into four groups. But when you look at my multiplication, I only have one of the four groups. So if I look at this, I need to take one-fourth and I could shade it across. I do have another colored pencil, but I'm just going to put a swirl through this. So I had two-thirds shaded vertically. Now I'm going to shade one-fourth one horizontally. And you'll note that I've created, with my drawing, I have thirds times fourths. I've created 12 spaces. My answer is going to be reflected in the spots that are double shaded. So if you look where I have double shaded, I have two, one, two, out of my four, eight, twelve spaces. So my answer for my model of two thirds divided by four is actually two twelfths, which is here. My double shaded shows my two twelfths or one-sixth in simplest form. And I probably should reference that double shaded. 